You want to make sure if you're working with multiple materials that they're synergistic, that they work together as one, especially when you're talking about waterproofing a building and enclosing a building. So that's why we test full systems and systems of products. I think it's important to test. There's a lot of things that we can do on a material level, adhesion compatibility, you know, different things like nail sealability and really understand performance. But when it all comes together as a wall assembly, that's why it's so important. Now that we have Drive It and Nadora and Will Seal, now we have all these different touch points in that entire wall assembly and how do they communicate and work together and how can they affect your air permeance and your water penetration and what does that mean for you as the building owner or the homeowner is you don't want water getting into your structure, you don't want inefficient buildings with air leakage. All of those things are things we can identify and look at ahead of time before we even get to the job site. Behind me to the right is our test wall. We can perform ASTM B283, we can perform ASTM 331, we can go into IVC, we can also turn around and do ASTM 547 and 2357. Those are probably the more common tests that we run. The design of the test wall being plexiglass and being transparent allows us to detect leaks and see where the points of failure are in our assemblies. Whenever a product is being tested, we'll be able to tell what the weak spots are and we'll be able to improve the design or the product based on the failure mechanisms. When we do a virtual tour or in-person tour, obviously they come in the door and this is the first thing they see, right? They get this wow moment of seeing the capability we have. So we have our thermal environmental chamber where we can do different types of testing, looking at that thermal resistance, but also capturing the air and water resistance. It has a climate side and then a control side. So you actually have two different chambers split by a wall specimen. Laying in different areas around here, we're going to go and look at adhesion testing. We've also got the cold weather chamber outside. We can do the Cleveland weather testing outside. We can do blindside monolithic. But we're also trying to get that ability to train individuals to know what can happen and what can occur during an installation. We also have our inner edge labs that's going to walk you through the whole idea of this insulated glass unit, how it's put together, how we can weather it and expose it to different conditions, but then we don't end there. We go through one more door and it takes us over to that Roof Tech 2.0 area where we can do wind uplift testing. We can demonstrate how we can actually dry out wet roofs. As you know, when things come together, there's generally the by others, you know, who's connecting here and who's going to connect there. And I think we've always been that company that embraces the connections. And it's even more important now that we have all these additional touch points on your structure that we can continue to validate how they all come together. A system approach was always important to us, and now we just have even more pieces and parts to add to that system and then therefore bring that to the customer. If you'd like to schedule a test here, you can put a formal submittal into our system that will then come to me outlining the project and we'll acquire the materials for that project, build the test specimens and get them ready. You can either come in and join us for the test or just simply kick back, relax and wait for a report.